Hello, I just want to walk through the process of uh, what a tag property is in Microsoft Access which can be applied to any control on a form or report, can be using macros as well and if you have a look at my example form here of customers which is from an Access database you can see that here under the customer ID field I have a unique reference number which is displayed as a prompt caption directly above into a label control as I move between controls, so on the company name, you can see how it dynamically updates the caption at the top. What's the main name of the company? Likewise, if I move into the contact, you can see another prompt. How does this work? I'm using a simple piece of VBA code, which as I click in between the controls, will dynamically change the caption here. And that's using the tag property and attaching code to a particular event, in this case, on Got Focus for the controls that I wish to use. So let's have a quick look at the design of that and get a feel for where the tag property is and the code that we can apply to that scenario. I'm going to simply go into design view, right mouse click and back into design view and you need to have the properties view on display, the property sheet and the first thing is you can see I've drawn this a simple label and I've called that label message box, uh, sorry label message there, LBL message, that's the convention I use for message basic formatting, it's currently empty because that's how we want to initialize the form, we don't want anything inside the label at this early stage. And then what I'm going to do is I click on a particular control, in this case customer ID, and then under the other tab of the property sheet you can see there is a tag property at the end where I add the caption that I want to display. So in this case I want to see the unique number, that's the prompt to help support that particular control. If I click on company name, you can see here's the caption for that control, and I can click click on the next control, so on and so forth. And if I put the contact title, which is currently empty, I can type in a caption for this as well. So, so what their position is, is exactly what I'm going to be doing. So, if I click outside of that, that stores their prompt. The next thing I'm going to do is go and then add code to when I click into here, it shows that prompt into this label message box that I've created on my form. To do that I go onto the event tab and there are many events for a control. In this case the control text box has one called on got focus and if I choose in there from the drop down choose what's called event procedure and then just drill into that view you can see the code it generates the signature for me. There's the name of the control and its event. I'm just going to simply type in the name of the control, that's the caption as you're going to see in the label at the top and I'm going to set it to its tag of the name of this control which is called contact title and you can see and I call the tag property like so. So as you can see for the others I've done exactly that simply one line of code that's populated for me. When I load the form I just made sure the caption if it were utilized previously is set to empty, it's in other words it's blank so it just keeps things neat and tidy. So now when I click between these different controls here it should trigger the tag that I've set back in Access. So I'm just going to come out of this view, I'm going to save the changes I'm now going to run the form and we're going to see the effect of that. So again you can see clearly what's going on here and here you can see the new caption has been added. So a very simple piece of code very useful for a tag property across any of these controls and again it can be customized and makes life a little easier. And again the property of a tag is underused but if you know a bit of the tag property this can cut down a lot of your coding in particular macros and VBA code as a whole. So this is Ben from Access Database Tutorial and um, have a look at it. It's very easy to use. Thank you.